Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do one of those awesome gory zip faces. Um, this is probably one of the easiest Halloween makeups that you can do, especially if you want to make it gory, you can also make it look pretty. So basically, it's just where you put the zip on your face, do your normal makeup, and do the gore on just where your lips are. But you can also do it so that in this area it's glitter, or anything else really, just anything that's not your face, wherever the zip is. Alright, so we're just going to jump right into it then. So basically, this is the look that you can do if you've been at work all day and you've got your normal makeup on, you just need to quickly go out for a Halloween party, you can just throw on a zip and throw some blood in there and you're good. Um, or you can spend your time and do some awesome shit with this as well. Basically, all you really need to make it a Halloween look is liquid latex and a zip. That's really it. If you want to make it blood and gore, you just need some blood. If you want to make it something else, make it something else. <laughs> Today I'm just going to do it blood and gore. Get a zip from like your local craft store. I just um, grabbed this off of an old shirt that I didn't want anymore. Don't mind my one nail by the way. Oh, I did that. Just for the sake of doing it really. But yeah, so you can just take this off of some clothes that you've already got, or you can just go buy one as well, if you want to do that. Either way, it's still the same. Alrighty, let's just start with my eyes then. So for my quick little eye makeup today, I'm going to use the Morphe 35T palette, which just looks like this. Just pretty basic. I'm going to put a bit of a wing on, so I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And then I'm going to go in with my favourite lashes, which are actually these little eBay ones. These are like $1.20. And they're my favourite, so... I'm going to throw those on my lashes and coat my lashes in L'Oreal Telescopic and I'll be right back. It's the basic look for now. I mean if you wanted to do it crazy and over the top then that like do whatever the hell you want to do with it. I'm just going to show you how to do this part and what I would do with it just for the most effect of the gore but you can do whatever the hell you want with this right, so basically I'm just gonna put on my foundation this is one of this is basically my favorite foundation it's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD foundation I pretty much use this every day it is super full coverage I do put a lot on though but you know I don't need to put on this much Okay, so, then I'm going to get my zipper, flicked myself in the eye with it, and we're going to get our liquid latex, and then basically, you just stick the liquid latex on the back of your zip, and stick it to your face. I'm just putting it on the black part of the zip, not the actual, like, not the actual 
um, metal part of the zip because obviously if you want to make it look like you're unzipping your face then you probably want the um, bits of the zip chilling out the side there. Alrighty, and then when that's done, you're just going to stick it to your face. So when you got your zip stuck to your face, you can uh, finish off the rest of your face makeup, which I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to put my mascara on the bottom. Jump in first with some face paint in a red colour. I'm going to go in around the edges of the zip with some black face paint. I'm just going to use the black out of my Morphe 35F. I just can't find a black, so we're just going to go with that. I'm just going to use some cotton, just bits of cotton. What I do is I'm just going to grab another q-tip and we're just gonna like use the liquid latex to just like put some like scar tissue everywhere Alright, so what I'm going to do now is go back in with the black eyeshadow and just darken up. I've just put some black eyeshadow in my lips as well, just to give it that dead look, you know. Kind of helps complete the look. Anyway. Right, so when it comes to blood, you can buy blood from shops or you can make it yourself. So, I mean, I've bought some for this look. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm trying out some actual, um, like, special effects makeup blood. Um, I would usually just make it myself and I will show you how I do that in a future video. So I'm basically just grabbing this clotted blood and I'm just going to like Right, so I'm just going to move on to the liquid blood now. Oh, it's 
it's got a little it's got a little tube and yeah so with this stuff this way you'll just drop it on yourself really Okay, so, um, for our first attempt of using clotted blood and liquid blood, the clotted blood is really good. I will not be using that liquid blood for anything other than a few drops because it is fucking stinky and it's going to make me high and my skin's kind of tingly. Alrighty, so... That's basically it. Um, I would take it down the neck um, if I was going to be doing this for an actual like Halloween look, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to do my face. Um, but yeah, this is the final result. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.